everybody. Thank you for joining us here at Rouse's alongside the one and only That's Chef Nino. That's right. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate y'all. And we're filming at the uh, beautiful Rouse's on Airport Schillinger here in a beautiful room, beautiful grocery store, amazing place. Life is beautiful. It really is. Yes. All right. And is this a breakfast dish? We're yes, making? sir. Okay. This is a breakfast, easy breakfast frittata. Now, don't be afraid. I'm going to simplify some stuff and make it so easy that you're going to do this. Okay? Okay. Are y'all ready? Put your seatbelts on. Uh, we might be experiencing some turbulence. Tray tables at upright lock, lock position. Okay, let's go. Now, you, you, it's like a blank canvas, and you have all the, 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 the paint and the brushes, and you can add what you want, okay? I like that. Now, H Alabama, have you ever heard of Koneka sausage? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody's right. getting excited right now. Put your hands together. All right. So, look, I already kind of browned that up a little bit. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> you know, I was a magician. <laughs> you like that, huh? Huh? All right, there we go. All right, I browned that. I didn't want to take air time to, to teach you how to brown Koneka sauces. If you don't know how to brown Koneka sauces, you need to stay after class because you haven't, <laughs> you're not going to the next level, okay? <laughs> All right, so while that's kind of cooking down, um, we got some of our Rouse's uh, fresh cuts. That's what this is called. So uh, easy, convenient. Yeah, already cut them for you. And some mushrooms, I put them in a the food processor. Uh, and this is what it looks like right here. Look at that. Mm. All right, that's mushrooms, bell peppers, and uh, onions right there. Okay. And this is going to be the base uh, for our civilization. If you want to, you can put some tasso. You can get really creative, put some ham, whatever you have on hand, some bologna, some bacon, whatever you want. Or just make a, a, a better, a better, a, a, a vegetable, a better. Sounds like you're speaking bologna right now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you knocked the sword out of my hand. I'm <laughs> defenseless, man. So we've got all this in here, and then um, at what point in a frittata process do you add the eggs? Because I know you don't want to get it overdone. No, overdone. So a frittata is a simple process. You, we're going to put in our egg, <coughs> eggs, and we're going to, the stove is going to cook the bottom of the frittata. Then we're going to transfer this oven-ready skillet to the oven on a broiler, and the broiler, for just a couple of minutes, is going to cook the top. <laughs> all right. So you see what I'm saying? So we cook in the bottom here, uh -huh. and the brawler gonna cook the top. There's a diagram online. You can find it at the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com. Make sure you have a compass, top. When we come back, more tips from Nino right here on Studio. <laughs> we are back with uh, Chef, what are you working on, Nino? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my drinking problem. No, I'm just joking. Besides that, uh, we're making an easy breakfast frittata. You can, there's a plethora of things that you could be doing, but we got, we browned some Koneka sausage. Yes. We put it in the food processor. That's a good start. Because I want in my uh, frittata, I don't want big chunks of sausage. I want it to be almost like a ground beef consistency. Okay. So right. each bite you get some sausage and some vegetables. And I got my Rouse's fresh cuts, bell peppers and onions already cut up for us, put in food processor. That's where we are. And some mushrooms. I put some mushrooms in the food processor. So there we are. Look at that. And that's going to be the base of our uh, frittata. Smelling right good in here. Smelling good. And remember frittata is, of course, eggs. But the, the uh, stove cooks it from the bottom and then we put in the broiler or roaster and that's going to cook the top really fast. This gotcha. is quick and it's easy. And really you have a nice uh, gourmet meal. Alright. So let's go ahead and put this in. Alright. Going to add those eggs into the mix. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm moving the pot back and forth. I want the <coughs> eggs to be distributed evenly, okay? And really, uh, on your uh, uh, stove, you want to let that cook for about two or three minutes, okay? And you're going to start seeing the sides kind of cook, and you're going to see the bottom firming up. It's still going to be wet on top. That's what you want. Turn it off, and you're going to put it in the broiler, and it's going to finish cooking it. When do we add the cheese? Oh, my goodness. No, uh, after. After it's completely cooked and hot, you put the cheese on top. Cooked and hot, and put the cheese on top. Cooked and hot. That's my next book. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I'm, this is looking great, y'all. Hey, before we go real quick, do you want to talk about these uh, uh, new Italian you. products? Yeah. Folks, the Rouse's just brought a ton of things back from Italy. One is their beautiful pastas, 99 cents a pound. All the different sizes and shapes and textures. You know what I like about this right here? You don't have to have a magnifying glass to get the cooking instruction. On every bag, in the corner, it says ready in 10 minutes. 
ready in eight minutes. It depends on the size and the shape, nine minutes, eight minutes. You see what I'm saying? So they simplify it. One more thing I like about this pasta from Rousey, two ingredients, durum wheat, semolina, and water. Period. No enriched, bleached, that kind of thing. Simplicity is key. That leads to some good stuff. So keep those in mind when you're shopping at Rouse's. Yeah. We'll be right back to finish up this free top top. All right, we're going to put it in a brawler right now. Let's do it. All right. We are back here at Rouse's to finish up our frittata. That's right. I was going to say, I don't see any food out here. That's right. Here we are. Oh. So just review, we sauteed our Koneka sausage and our vegetables down. We, we, we cut them up real good or put them in a food processor if you have one. Uh, sauteed that into some butter. Added our eggs and um, the, the stove cooked it from the bottom and then we put it in the broiler for just a couple of minutes until the top was done. Took it out and we sprinkled some cheese. Wow. All right. And if, if you would allow me, I just want to put it on this right here to just show you the magnitude and the, the amazing. Now, this is. It's like a breakfast pizza. Look at that. Look at that, folks. You see what I'm saying? Now, at this point, we're just going to kind of. Uh, well, I don't know if I can. Oh, well. Kind of love. <laughs> right. We're going to be really careful here. But you, could, Joe, you're going to absolutely love this. Folks, this is easy. It's quick. Get the kids involved. You can add your own personality to it. There we go. You know what else is great? If you have company over, this serves a lot of people. Instead of just making, you know, a couple eggs or something a little bit special you can do. That was exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> Ooh, y'all. No, all kidding aside, folks, take a, take a look at that. The, the meat and the vegetables are in there. Hey, hey, man, I was eating that. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, all sir. right, if you want to make something like this you can eat, you can find the recipe online. Nino? That's right. Rouses.com or fa uh, 10. Uh, uh, exactly. Yes, sir. All right. Thank, thank you for watching. Thank you. God bless you. Appreciate it. See you next time.